While the best method of sizing a battery for NEM 3.0 is to use sophisticated software such as SolarGraph, we understand that that is not always an option, and a simple rule of thumb for battery sizing can be helpful. In this video, we're going to teach you how to use a simple ratio to size an Enphase battery for NEM 3.0 with the goal of high bill offset. Selecting the optimal battery size for NEM 3.0 projects is different than sizing for backup. And with the modularity of the Enphase system with relatively small building blocks, you can more precisely right size the battery than you can with other battery manufacturers with 10 kilowatt hour or larger batteries. There are two Enphase battery configurations which are applicable for NEM 3.0. A Solar Plus battery without backup system, also called a grid tied battery, or a Solar Plus battery with backup system. A system without backup capabilities is sized only for maximizing bill savings. It also doesn't need a reserve capacity setting which could limit the available energy. All of the energy in the battery can be used to save money. There is no IQ system controller or backup panel which significantly reduces the cost. A Solar Plus battery system with backup must be sized for both savings and for backup, whichever is larger. Since backup batteries typically will have a reserve capacity of around 30%, that would mean that 70% of the energy in the battery is available for saving money. Backup systems require the IQ system controller and more labor hours, so the cost is naturally higher. An optimally sized battery for NEM 3.0 is large enough to store the excess solar energy, but not so large that a significant amount of its capacity goes unused. Excess solar energy is the portion not consumed by the home that would otherwise backfeed to the utility. The amount of excess solar energy is mainly influenced by two factors. The first factor is the size of the PV system. The PV system should be sized to produce the same amount of energy annually that the home consumes. The second factor is the consumption profile of the customer. In other words, at what time of day do they use more energy, and at what time do they use less? In this example, the customer has a typical energy consumption profile, which would have lower energy use during the day and higher energy use in the evening. This system has a lot of excess solar energy because energy use in the home is low during the day. This homeowner would need a relatively large battery to save the large amount of excess solar energy. Let's compare that to a homeowner that uses more energy during the day compared to the evening they will consume more solar energy as it's produced and have a smaller amount of excess solar to save for later, which means that a smaller battery would be needed. You can use a simple ratio to determine the optimal battery size for a grid-tied battery without backup. For homes with evening weighted energy consumption, the ratio is two parts battery capacity to one part solar power. Battery capacity is measured in kilowatt hours of energy and solar power is measured in kilowatts. For example, if the solar system size is 10 kilowatts, you multiply 10 times 2, which is 20 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. Now divide this battery capacity by the capacity of the Enphase battery you are quoting. The IQ Battery 3T is 3.36 kilowatt hours, and the new IQ Battery 5P is 5 kilowatt hours. Divide 20 by 3.36, and you get 6 IQ Battery 3Ts, which is equal to 2 IQ Battery 10Ts. If you are quoting the new 5P, divide 20 by 5, and you get 4 IQ Battery 5Ps. If the homeowner uses more energy during the day and less energy in the evening, then again, there would be less excess solar to be stored. For this consumption profile, use a lower ratio of 1.5 parts battery capacity to 1 part solar power. For example, if the solar system size is 10 kilowatts, multiply 10 times 1.5, which is 15 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. Divide 15 by 3.36, and you get 4.4. Round up to 5 IQ battery 3Ts. This is equal to 1 IQ battery 10T, and two IQ battery 3Ts. If you are quoting the 5P, divide 15 by 5, and you get three IQ battery 5Ps. That's it. We hope you find this simple approach to sizing a battery for NEM 3.0 helpful. Thanks for watching.